So this is where we're staying guys. I was hanging out for a bit of good weather to show you just how beautiful it is because it, it is such a good spot. With all these vineyards over here behind us, it's just amazing. Um, but the weather. <laughs> so apart from the cellar door, that is obviously for this uh, winery. One of the best parts of where we are is just behind those bushes. That's Colonial Brewing. So um, we haven't been yet, but I think we'll end up going there tomorrow or something. Hopefully. It depends. We're still struggling. Yeah, we're still <laughs> laying off the alcohol for today, I think. We might maybe do the winery here, the Sarbo. Yeah, yeah. Um, otherwise, I'm just worried we're going to run out of time. All right, so this is Jarvis Estate Wines. This is where we're staying. We're gonna head into the cellar door now, try out some of their wines. guys we've come out to Bustleton for the morning and we're gonna check out the jetty uh, the longest jetty in the world we were hoping to get here on a sunny day so we've been putting it off but we've only got two days left in this area and we have not got a sunny day and it doesn't look like we're getting a sunny day so <laughs> it's bloody cold just imagine the sun's out right now <laughs> it's literally like 15 degrees and we have, we've had a top of about 16 17 the last two days like yeah it's unbelievable because we just had 30 degree days in Perth yes but anyway <laughs> we'll go check out this jetty yeah so we've just paid the four bucks each for the adults kids are free to walk along the jetty uh now i said before it's the longest jetty in the world i have no idea whether it is or isn't <laughs> we haven't been out of i thought there'd be a sign or something <laughs> but it's bloody long it's 1.8 something kilometers long uh so you can walk the whole thing you can do the train the train is pricey like like 50 bucks 50 bucks one or, way oh or return it's 11 bucks an adult one way that's right we don't want to spend that kind of money i'd rather <laughs> spend that on beers <laughs> It's probably better that we're walking anyway. <laughs> and all the drinking and eating. <laughs> Well, we end up walking the whole way to the end. It wasn't too bad, to be honest. But if you can see behind us, we got some rain closing in. So I think we're gonna go hide down here and bunker down. Little bonus of Bustleton Jetty is right behind it, Shelter Brewing. Guess where we're going for lunch. <laughs> well, scrap that, we're not going to Shelter. They are booked out. It is pumping in there. Should have thought about that. Bustleton on a busy weekend. Oh. So, plan B. We don't have a plan B, but we'll find something. <laughs> We're trying our next venue, Wild Hop, but it's not looking promising. There's a big sign at the door that says, sorry, we are at capacity. <laughs> All right, tell them the situation we're in. We don't fit here either. <laughs> There's no tables, uh, so they fit us on like this outdoor furniture, but it keeps like raining on and off, so. It's getting later and later, so we're just gonna eat here. Um, Chips. We're getting a snack, yeah. <laughs> we were going to get like a full proper gourmet. We're in Margaret River. Good lunch. Yeah. Now we're getting a couple of buckets of chips. But anyway, we're having their beers. And this place, um, I've had their beers before and everyone keeps saying wild hops. So 
Yeah. We'll have a couple. It's and then, a pretty uh, cool place. Like, yeah. It'd be really nice. What a beautiful day. And we'll have a beer here and then we might move on and have a proper feed somewhere. If we can get in anyway. Alright, so we've just come out to Cape Naturalist Wine. So we've been told by my cousin that this is a pretty good place to come. Uh, so we're gonna try some of their wines. Do a tasting here. Mm. bloody vibe it was in that uh, winery <laughs> so we managed to rock up at the same time as one of the uh, booze tour buses was there and they've obviously been to 400 wineries before they got there because they were <laughs> peaking they were. <laughs> it was cool but I don't know when you're not on that level yeah yeah when you're not you really pissed know yourself what you're missing. I would have loved it if I was pissed but um, yeah so that was a cool little winery uh, their little dog Poppy, what a beautiful little Jack Russell, and just kept um, looking at the kids through the window, trying to get their attention to go play ball, but then they'd go outside and wouldn't let go of the ball. So, <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to move on to somewhere else now, uh, top up our food levels, I think. Hopefully. Yeah. While we're in there, we bought some of these chocolate covered uh, salted potato chips. Uh, I don't know how they're gonna go, but I was just really intrigued by them. I know, so, I'm like, I feel like salty and chocolate are good and crunchy. Crack it open, let's have a go. Just try a little one. <laughs> oh no, go for a big one if you're gonna do it. Mm. Oh no, that's what I do. As I'm <laughs> I tasting, don't hate it. as I taste things, I shake my hand. I don't know why. Like I'm Italian. Uh, it's like nice and salty. Mm. It and is crunchy. Crunchy and chocolate don't mix. It's just a bit of a mind bender, I think. Hmm. I'm not sold. No. Nah. Yeah. Who I'll eat them then. Who wants <laughs> Oh, cool. Yeah, that catfish. I know, Mr. Fishy. What are they called? I don't know, fish. Is that a catfish? Uh, this place looks a little bit flash, eh? Black Brewing Co. Yeah, not what I was expecting at all. No, we're just coming for a cheeky beer. And yeah, it feels like we've come into some palace. I'll tell you what, we're having absolutely no luck. <laughs> They're closed because they're having a function. They've got a wedding on there. But um, anyway, we'll uh, move on. There's plenty of places around here. I think we'll go check out Cheeky Monkey. See if, oh, they're, they're only open till five, but we'll sneak in a bit. this look Ooh. 
Hey, if you get the chance, get yourself down to Beer Farm because what a place that is. Oh, such a cool place. It's actually an old dairy farm and they've converted it into this brewery and it still actually is operating as a farm, but just a lot smaller scale. Yeah, but, and, but there's still like lots of nods to the dairy farm in there. Like they've kept it pretty authentic and yeah, yeah, it's a really cool vibe. I'll say it again. It's such a beautiful area. Like just the view out the back of that place and they've got a um, playground there for the kids and I don't know, they just they just set a lot of things up around here good for families. Yeah. We even got some sun which was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's gone obviously, we got the jackets off. <laughs> we well, got to take our jackets off for like ten minutes. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a great place. Get yourself down here. So even though we only just had lunch, we couldn't help ourselves coming here to the berry farm. We got ourselves some fresh scones. So I wouldn't have thought it as we came here, but they do uh, tastings of, well, they do their own alcohols here. Yeah, so but it's not like wines as such. Well, fortified wines, but we ended yeah. up buying a, um, what was the one I got? A berry one. Boysenberry fortified Like a port, but it's boysenberry. It's all these, di oh, summer it's berry. Like a, it's like an adult cordial. <laughs> yeah, it's bloody delicious. But um, we also got a pet, a, uh, pet mat as well. So we'll save those for Chrissy though. But, oh super tasty <laughs> like so sweet and i don't normally go for sweet stuff but... no but it's gonna be perfect for like christmas day cocktails yeah righto so to finish off our margaret river stay i guess uh we're gonna go to the closest brewery to us colonial it's literally a stone's throw from the back you can um, see our caravan you from can do where we'll be sitting probably <laughs> so um we'll go here we'll have a beer and then they've got a, a driving range i think too so we might be able to hit a few balls Got ourselves some food, but I'll tell you what, I'm so stuffed from everything else we've eaten. I don't even know if I'm gonna have any. I think I'll just save it for beer. Oh, really? Um. Hey, we're real keen to have a bit of a go at the driving range, but I'll tell you what, we're having no luck at the moment. They're out of bowls. Toby, we've got no bowls. <laughs> <laughs> no balls. <laughs> anyway, so we're not driving balls. Anyway. Right, oh guys. So we packed up from uh, Jarvis Estate this morning. And we're going to make our way down to Augusta. That's right, isn't it, Eric? Yep. Yep. So we're going to spend a couple of hours there. We're going to go into a caravan park because our washing machine is broken again. Uh, <laughs> it's booked in to get replaced in, in Albany, but we've got to wait until we get there. So we've got a mad pile of washing. Uh, and because it's so cold, we've got bugger all winter clothes. Yeah. <laughs> we're, just, we're just wearing them every day. <laughs> They're filthy. So we'll get that sorted out. But as we're coming through Margaret River, we're pulled up here at the uh, skate park. So we try to do that in most towns, just as we're leaving, uh, go let the kids have a bit of a ride because the way our setup is with the bikes on the caravan, I've got no room in the car to actually get the bikes to a skate park while we're staying somewhere. Down this way, kids. Uh, so yeah, it's always good on moving day just to pull up. And most towns have a coffee shop right near a the bike park so smart mom, very smart mum and dad get a <laughs> coffee and the kids have a skate around or a ride around tribe's mine the blue thank you 